If you sell plants, this video is of interest to you. In this video, we're going to explore how you can create your own plant inventory list on plantplaces.com by using either the website or a mobile device. You'll get the list, which is searchable. I can type in American, and it will, it will show only plants with the name American. And also, your inventory will appear at the top of the plant detail page, just as you see here. So when people come to plant places to search for plants, they will see that you sell this plant up at the very top of the page. To get started, all you need to do is contact plantplaces.com by choosing the Contact Us link on the left here and request an account. After you get that account, we'll provide you with a URL where you can navigate and log in. So, so the URL is plantplaces.com slash pearl slash for sale slash interplantspl and that will come in an email to you once you've requested an account. I've set up, set up a demo account here for plant places. And what you'll see is that you'll come to this screen. And in this screen, you can enter uh, you can enter any part of a plant name, like I'll say Father Gilla. I'll just say Father. How about that? I'll choose Search. And a pop-up appears. I'm going to choose Dwarf Father Gilla. Quantity, we'll say 3. Price, we'll say 19.99. although you can certainly leave pr price blank if you prefer. And then we'll say uh, three gallon. You can choose gallon or you can go by height or multi-pack or seat. And then put some notes like an excellent three season plant. Or maybe you can say arriving in May, something like that. And then simply choose save this specimen. Once you've done that, the specimen that you've added appears in the list below. And you can remove it if you wish. Uh, or you can add another. So let's say I want to say I want to add a pawpaw. I'm going to say pawpaw. And once again, a pop-up will appear. I'm going to say common pawpaw. And quantity three. Uh, price, we might say $39.99. Uh, size, we'll say one gallon. Uh, or we could say bare root or something like that. So we'll say uh, ready for spring planting in April. And then again, we choose save. As soon as we choose save, this page refreshes, and you see again, uh, we have Father Gillo Gardenii uh, and our Asemina Triloba common pawpaw. We do this over and over again as we add more plants. Now, what we'll get out of this is a plant inventory. I'll go to plantplaces.com, and then I'm going to say pearl, and then inventory.pl, question mark, partner, equals plant. And I will send you this URL when you request an account. Don't worry about all the letters and all the symbols and everything. You'll get your own personal URL when you get an account. What you'll see here is it says plantplaces.com garden center and then has an address and then inventory. And here it has the common pawpaw, the scientific name, the genus and species, the quantity, price, the vendor, the size, and then the notes. And then it also has pictures, thumbnails of the pawpaw, and then underneath that the dwarf father gilla with pictures, and again the details of the father gilla. If I click on common pawpaw, we're going to see the detail page for this pawpaw. This is the same detail page that somebody coming to the website would see. Uh, so we see three pawpaws at this price, and again the information for our fictional plantplaces.com uh, garden center. So if I go to Plant Places Home and I search on Paul Paul, I'm going to come to that very same detail page and it's going to have my inventory uh, at the top again. It's that easy to do. You see, it only happened in a few minutes. Now, this is assuming that you are at a computer where you can enter this information. But what if you're out in the field? What if you're in the greenhouse or you're in the retail center and a computer's not nearby? Well, if you have an Android phone or tablet, you're in luck. Uh, simply load the free plantplaces.com app, uh, click the buttons at the top, and choose settings. In settings, then, uh, enter your name and username. Enter the name that was assigned to you. And for this one, we're going to say plant. And then choose OK. 
you only need to do that one time. And then back. And now that's saved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ellipsis again. I'm going to say add plants for sale. And this is going to bring up the plantplaces.com mobile plants for sale page. Now this is running on an emulator on my computer. The actual, uh, the actual unit will run much faster on an actual phone. I choose select a plant. And this will take me to the search screen. Okay, I might say something like Magnolia. And then slightly, and notice it will autocomplete. Then slightly off screen, there is, okay, Yulon Magnolia. I'll hit search. Uh, I'll choose Yulon Magnolia. It's going to take me right back to the add a plant for sale screen. But this time you see it's populated the Yulon Magnolia. Who's selling this plant? I'll say plant places. Garden center. How many do they have? Uh, we'll say three. What's the average price? And again, this is optional, but we'll say $129.99, uh, size five. And then underneath that, which again is slightly off screen, slides description, uh, we can say gallon or something like that. Uh, and then we simply go to the bottom and choose submit this plant sighting. And this mobile app can be with us wherever we are, in the greenhouse or in the field. Uh, we just quickly type it in, hit submit, and there we go. Uh, now if we go back to search for plants from the Plant Places screen, uh, we'll search for our friend, or we'll go to the Plant Places home. Uh, we will search for the Yulon Magnolia. Come to the detail page. And sure enough, at the top, you see Plant Places Garden Center, Center is the vendor, uh, is selling this plant. It has the date that we identified it, which is March 10th today, uh, the price and the quantity. We'll go back to our plant inventory page that the public can see. So that would be plantplaces.com slash pearl slash inventory. Uh, and partner is plant in this case. And again, you'll get your own URL. And let's take a look. Let's see what we have on this page. We have the pawpaw and the father gila, both of which were added on the web. Additionally, we have the Yulon Magnolia, which was entered with the Android device. So whether you prefer a website or whether you prefer to have a device with you out in the field, either way, they will be added to your plant inventory page and you'll get your own page you can use on your own website. And you also will see your inventory on the detail page when people are looking at the details of this plant. And the best news is uh, this is all free. All you need to do is request access. And if you wish to use the Android app, uh, download the free Android app. It's all free. So uh, I look forward to your requests and also look forward to seeing your inventory on plantplaces.com. Thank you.